This is the appearance of a popular fabric mask under the low-power digital microscope. Each aperture is a quarter millimetre in diameter. If we mount a portion on a prepared slide for examination with the research microscope, at 50 times magnification, we can discern the essential structure of the fabric. Increasing the magnification to 100 times, we can clearly make out the polyester fibres from which the mask is manufactured. However, the specimen was not mounted on a fresh slide, but superimposed on a crystal violet stained preparation of bacilli, several microns in length and one micron across. Magnified some 750 times, we can easily comprehend the ratio between the size of the cells and the fabric fibres. We can add red circles to pick out a single bacillus on the right. On the lower left is a bacterium undergoing binary fission. Now we magnify over a thousand times, and here we can clearly see a few stray fibres from the mask and behind them the bacilli. Clearly, they are unlikely all to be intercepted by a fabric face mask. An enlarged micrograph takes us past the resolution limit of the light microscope, and now I'm adding the image of a 100 nanometer coronavirus particle. Can't make it out. Here it is. In May 2020, an article on research at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia, Scientific American published a view of viruses in airborne droplets. Is it realistic to think that such diminutive structures really could be intercepted by a cloth mask?